It's a new 2K out. Another year to make some moves. Another year for drama. Another year to bring the news. And the haters, they gon' hate, they all can. But brutal with the next video for y'all, man. The Boot Squad is an organization. And when you get in, you, you gon' learn all the basics. He gon' teach you how to win, he, he gon' touch, touch all the bases. It's our game. When we get the ball in the fourth, LeBron James. So you done know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out because you know we're gonna always keep you up to date on everything in the 2K community. I know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the gang of Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, Mike Wayne is alive again and responding and answering some questions. And we always appreciate these moments when the 2K dev could take some time to respond and teach us about the game or what's under the hood of their current titles. Now, I could say that I could talk some trash. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Now, he started off with this question right here because I think he responded to two questions specifically. One talking about shot timing. And the next one talking about the randomness of that green bar sometimes. I see a lot of people be missing that bar and they're still getting the green. And that thing has... Anyways, anyways, let's get to the question. I'll oh, start off right here with this person. His name is Aaron 2K, a.k.a. India. Now, I ain't gonna front with you, my G. <laughs> That's probably the best name in the 2K community. In fact, I think a lot of people should put AKA idiots at the end of the name in this community. But we're not going to get into that right now. Let's get to the question. He said, question on shot timing. We all know our shot slows when stamina get lowered. We also know that shot speeds up on contested. How does that work when your stamina is low when shooting contested shots does it speed up the slower shot trying to understand and my point response for that is yeah they are more or less <laughs> cancel each other out <laughs> No, my brain. No, my brain. Now, in theory, in theory, that should happen. In actuality, it kind of doesn't. It's a little bit random. So that's why I think he put more or less. So he's actually being honest here, to be honest with y'all. He actually being honest, to be honest with y'all. Do you? Can you even say that? But anyways, because it's pretty random. In fact, a lot of the jump shots in the game right now is pretty random. Take it as someone who leaks out for because I'm playing point guard and as soon as I see a contested shot go up, I'm running out because hopefully my big guy get it and I could get an easy wide open shot. Now, me leaking out know that I got full stamina still, of course. Of course, right? And sometimes I catch the rock and shoot it and it's extremely fast. Like extremely fast. Fast, it feels like the contested shot. That's how fast it is. I'm talking about me being wide open on a fast break with full stamina and sometimes it's a lot slower these are fast break leaking out shots so right now there's a little bit of issue in terms of consistency and my advice to everybody is when it comes to shooting learn the animation you can't no longer you could go off of the feel of the game in previous two k's we could have gone off for oh yeah i know the shot timing with my eyes closed that's previous 2Ks. Or even last 2K was based on position. So if you took a shot in a corner, it was a certain speed. If you took a shot deep range, it was a certain speed. If you took a midi shot, it was a certain speed. So even then, you could still know based on your position. You could know that you, you could go by muscle memory. But this 2K, no muscle memory. You cannot go off of any muscle memory. You got to be eye on the game all the time. So that's why I had to change all of my animations to my all my shots right now at this elbow. When this elbow bend right here and my hand reach my face, release it. So sometimes you reach up there really fast and sometimes you reach up there really slow. But I know when it comes to consistency, as soon as you reach my face, let it go. No matter how long it takes to reach there. And that's why I recommend for people going forward in terms of improving your jump shot consistency in games that i really lock in in because i stream a lot right so when i'm really locked in and my eyes on the game and locked in and not on the stream 
I start, bro, I could barely miss. When I'm halfway in the stream and talking and doing all type of stuff, that's when I'm shooting low percent. And those are usually like when we played against like people that are not necessarily that good. I will like, all right, whatever. <laughs> all right. But anyways, man, let me know what y'all think about that. And let me know if y'all agree with your boy again. Now, he did answer a question as well when someone was asking him about green shot zone increasing. Because y'all know sometimes, man, especially when you're using something like Pro Touch, like you can release it extremely early and you see the green drop. If you have the bar on the green window, going to open all the way up and come and reach you on there early sometime. And you get a lot of greens. But the person asked, I just shot a mid-range pull-up in practice. And I was well short of green and the green zone of the meter stretched down and met my shot where I left off. Anyone know why it is? And Mike Wayne responded and said, shot windows are dynamic and consistently updating until the ball actually leaves the shooter's hand. Sometimes the shot meter are lags behind that calculated window size. That's why. It can look like you stopped the bar in the green window, but it can miss or stop outside of it and still get a green release. Now, my advice is always learn the animations, bro. At the end of the day, in this 2K, you can't even go by the bar unless you got that cheating device <laughs> that we spoke about what in length last week. That's the only way I would recommend you do something like that, to be honest with you. And I don't recommend you cheat, by the way. You cannot go by the bar. I know how people go by the bar because the bar is so random, bro. I'll be watching people shoot with that bar, and they'll be snapping a miss and still getting greens with certain bars, especially the default shooting bar. So he's basically saying, yo, it might you, you might show you hit it and you just miss, or it might show you miss and you hit it. It's kind of random. That's what I'm reading into this, of course. Again, learn the animations in this game, and that's for everything. When it comes to layups, I recommend going early more than more than late. And I actually did a video showing this and showing how the bar comes down and meet you if you release it early versus you release it late and you almost always miss with late. You got a better shot at earlies. When it comes to shooting, even with the bar, early is most often times better than late in this game. Learn the animations. Make sure you got animations equipped that you could actually see the difference of the peak, right? Or that cue specifically. And that will set you apart from your competition. But anyways, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think about these responses from Mike Wayne. And did it make y'all understand the shooting system a little bit more? <laughs> Put it in the comment section. Me personally, animations is the way and learn your animations, man. Trust me. Hope that's one. Till next time, be safe out there, y'all. Peace.